Good morning, my friends. How are you? I hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Today's video, I'm going to apply for you the 20 pips a day strategy. And this strategy, you can find it on my channel on YouTube. If you go to my channel, you can find all these very informative and educational videos. Among them, there is this video here, 20 pips a day where I explain it clearly how we can use hit and run rules on the daily and four hours chart. Now the thing with this strategy is it's a long term trade and usually it's preferable if we use only maximum two or three trades and that's it. You don't want to keep trading the whole day using this strategy. The reason is I personally don't like to enter so many long term trades per day. It's fine if you are scalping and just spotting the reversals but when you're applying this one, the 20 pips a day, uh, actually it's enough to have between one to three, one, two or three trades and that's it. So what I'm going to do in this video, I will enter only uh, at least two or maybe three trades using this method. So let's start here. Now, uh, the first thing is I need to find a good setup. So what I'm going to do, I will switch to the daily chart. So now I'm on the daily chart and GBPUSD is not showing me much uh, good setup here because, let me explain to you, because we are now reversing from the resistance. So we can see that we have here a resistance level and the pair has reversed already and maybe it will keep going down. Now I don't want to enter here because it's not clear yet if the pair will continue falling more down or if it will reverse. I want to enter at the absolute levels of the resistance or the support. So that's not gonna work for me right now. Let me try to find something else. This one, however, for for, for example, the GPP AUD, we can see that this pair is also, it's not obvious uh, what entry I can make now. The reason is we can see the pair has reversed right now from this resistance and on the current level we can see that the pair almost break out from the support but okay let me tell you something now I'm on the daily chart right let's go to the four hour chart now on the four hour chart we can see that we have here a resistance level just like that let me just be accurate as much as possible like that yes fantastic so what we can see here is we had a support level and this support has been breaking out so if I want to make any entry here it's really advised that I have to wait for the pair to go more up hitting this previous resistance level and then on this resistance I can actually start sell the GBP AUD now the problem with this pair is right now ranging on the support level and that's why I don't think it's a good idea to place any trade right now. That's why I'm switching back to the daily chart and I will look for another setup. And that's what I'm doing. I need to find a good setups where I can actually find that I am on the level where the pair is expected to actually start making the reversal so I can catch every single pip of them and I will avoid the late or early entry as much as possible. So right now I'm just jumping between the pairs, hoping to find something good. Let me tell you, now here, on AUD and ZD, if we look carefully, we can see here we had a resistance, and even here we had this week, this resistance has been breaking out by this bearish uh, movement. Then later, we had this resistance, it became a previous support like that. And this, is, this support has been broken out by this uh, long bearish candle. And right now the pair is reversing on this resistance. So this is on daily chart. Let me now draw the line here and I will switch to the four hour chart. And by seeing that, let me tell you something, by seeing that, we can see that the pair right now is exactly on this level of the previous resistance and we, there is a red candle 
and the pair is already reversing and if we go to the left we can see clear that this level was indeed a good resistance and here as well so meaning <clears throat> this will be a very good trade so I have opened my trade right now and since I'm aiming 20 pips at least from the trade so I will set my take profit to be exactly on the nearest support which is here 20 pips away so I will do just like that 20 pips exactly 20 pips like that so this will be like 20 pips $35 and that should be fine and that is what we are doing uh, how we can this is how we enter the 20 pips a day strategy uh, trade so <clears throat> let me go now and find another one by the way I forgot to mention that it's really early in the morning right now it's 5 46 a.m. that is the best time I find to actually use this strategy because I want to stay uh, in the trade um, as long as possible because I don't want to enter for example I don't like to enter the, this trade in the middle of the day or late in the day uh, I prefer to end uh, early as possible and that's why I would like to enter early in the morning so maybe by uh, noon time or afternoon this trade will be finished and that's uh, better for me I really don't like to keep my trade running for the next day so I'm just uh, now jumping between the pairs hoping to find something good uh, daily for our chart no nothing good here just uh, jumping between the pairs here and there hoping to find something good uh, let me see uh, just to save your time guys I will now pause the video and I will let you know once I find a good setup okay let me share with you what I found here uh, on the 4 hour chart on the CHFGPY what, I, what I see here right now let me tell you uh, if I go to the left right here on the same level the current level where the price is on right now we can see that we are right now on this strong support level so this support we can see that there after uh, several attempts this support has been broken out by this long uh, bullish breakout candle and right now the pair is making an obvious uh, continuation so this pair is obviously continuing to go more up and I'm placing the buy option right here and again I need to explain to you the reason I took this trade uh, please bear with me so we have this support level here right the same level of the support the same level has become a new resistance right here meaning this level is actually a strong and remember I'm on the four hour chart so going more to the left we can see that this resistance had had been broken out immediately so this resistance level is actually stronger as a support not, uh, not as a, not as a resist resistance the reason is if we look at the left again we can see that this bouncing happened here and right here the bouncing on this support level was actually quite strong and that's why it's not really active as a resistance it didn't give much uh, uh, strength as a resistance that's why we can see even with this bearish breakout it was obviously something regarding news or, or whatever happened but after that it was just a bounce nothing else the pair again breaking out from this bearish breakout candle so you might think again I'm telling you you might think that this was uh, a bearish movement but however that is not correct we can see that this was just a pullback and even after that the pair is continuing to go more and more up again this is a very strong support level and that's why I decided uh, I will place the buy order and again we can see here we had a resistance here and a resistance here so my entry point uh, was actually very accurate and that's why I'm going to keep this trade running right now and since I'm aiming of course 20 pips only I will just raise this bar up to aim only 20 pips so by that if these trades uh, were in profit I will actually make 40 pips in one day however the question is the stop loss what if the trade has failed how can I know if this trade will fail and I should actually close it with the loss 
let me explain to you something very important please listen carefully this trade or so this strategy is very accurate and if you have any uh, wrong entry it should be immediately obvious for example um as I explained before, let me tell you something, guys. I, I, I need to make myself clear here because this question I'm seeing almost in every trade I make or actually every video I'm making on YouTube. People asking, how do you decide your stop loss? Where do you decide that you will actually get out of this trade with a loss? Then, guys, please open my channel. This is the video you need to see. Forex, the myth of stop loss. I explained clearly how I decide that this trade will be a close in loss or not but short answer uh, I will keep my eyes on two things the candle and this timer here this timer here this is indicator you can find in the description of the video it tell me the exact remaining seconds and minutes from each candles lifetime so when I see that um, I will decide the stop loss only if I see for example I have entered on a support okay so we have here support number one and support number two. Let's assume I have entered my trade on the support number three. Okay. So if I have placed my trade right here, how do I decide that this trade, of course, if I, if I place a trade, it will be a buy option here. So let's say the candle is still going down. How I will decide that this trade has failed and should be closed with the loss? The answer is I will keep my eyes on this timer and I will not decide anything until the candle actually closes as a breakout candle from this level. So if the candle close as a long bearish breakout candle, that means this trade has been lost and I will close it with, uh, with the loss, of course. But if the, for example, right now I'm on the four hour chart and still there are three hours and four minutes from the lifetime of this candle, in this case, I will not decide anything uh, until the candle close. I will not close the trade, even if it go against me. How many pips it go against me? I don't really uh, decide anything until the candle closes as a bearish breakout. That means that's enough. This trade is now failing. You can't keep going uh, in with this trade. That is how I decide that this trade has failed. So what I will do now... For example, this trade here for the AUD and ZD, I place sell, right? If I see any bullish candle breaking out from this resistance like that, and if the candle closed as a long green bar, meaning that this level has been breaking out, meaning I will close this trade with the loss. And even with that, it depends on the shape of this ca green candle. Uh, if the green candle has no wicks at uh, its top at, or at its bottom, so there is no no tails or no wicks, meaning this this is a strong bullish candle, and the market will continue to go more up, and I can close my trade with the loss. But if the candle will actually look something like this, like that, for example, okay, meaning the market should continue to go more up, but it will not go up immediately. It might actually go down. And then it will continue moving up. And that is my chance to actually recover my loss. So let me tell you again. Sorry. This trade I have entered. This is sell, right? So we have, pla we have placed right here sell. Now this candle is still going down, but it might actually go up. So if the candle will close, uh, let's say something like that. Okay. If it closes as a red candle like that then the market actually might start going more up. But before that, I will wait for it to go a little bit more down near my entry point to reduce the losses to the maximum. And then I will close the trade with a loss. Then after that, it might continue to go more down or it might reverse up. But the thing is, I am safe. Even if I, I closed it with a small loss, I'm feeling more safe because I closed it. Uh, at the right time and I have limited my losses to the maximum again if, if you want to get a clear idea what I'm saying you need to watch this video the stop loss uh, video and it will be very it will be very helpful for you and really I don't know why it has only 6,000 views I believe this is one of the most important videos on my channel yet it has only 6,000 views 
I mean, I'm doing my best here. I cannot force everyone to watch uh, these videos. That's up to the people who want to uh, learn how to actually control the losses. So, right now, our trades are going not that bad. They are going well. And I will now pause the video and I will come back to you later and show you what happened with these two trades. Yeah, that went really quickly. We can see the trade has hit the take profit and this trade of selling the AUD and ZD is already done. And we can see what happened, guys. Uh, the pair actually, actually after hitting the take profit, now it's reversing. That's why I really don't like to keep my trades running for quite a long time. I mean, I found a setup here and I can tell that this will be a 20 pips uh, trade and we can see yes indeed 20 pips exactly and uh, when, when, once I see my target happened I just close my trade and finish now again 20, 20 pips has been hit and let me tell you something again uh, because I'm using the 4 hour and daily chart uh, I have entered here on this resistance and place my take profit at the nearest support which is right here don't be greedy at all don't think that you can with this strategy aim like uh, 50 or 60 pips uh, per trade that is not gonna work that's why I decide to keep keep it safe so this was a good trade and right now we are on uh, this second trade it's going uh, well as well so I will just pause the video right now and I will come back to you and show you what happened with this trade later now for the second trade, I will tell you something that I would like to close it right now and I will tell you the reason after closing it. Alright, so let me tell you the reason why I decided now to close this trade. If we look at the left, we can see here right guys, uh, right here, right here guys, we can see there is a resistance level. Right here. So we have here a resistance level and right here also, actually right here, we can see this bearish breakout candle so there is a chance that now the market will actually start reversing and going more down it might continue to go more down or more up but I'm sure that most likely now the candle actually might reverse and that's why I decided I will close the trade right now and we close it actually guys with about 10 pips of profit that makes it 30 pips for today and like that, I am done for today and I will not trade anymore. Just accept the, accept the, uh, how can I say that? Accept that you should close the day in profit and just reach your target. You don't have to keep trading the whole day. Don't keep thinking about how many opportunities you are missing or not missing. Just keep focusing that you should just make enough trades, make profit, uh, uh, reach your target, which you are aiming every day. And that's it you don't need to keep trading the whole day actually if I keep trading uh, there is a chance that I might actually lose these profits I made and that's why <clears throat> uh, that's enough for today and yeah that will be fine and I hope that uh, you guys can actually start applying this strategy and you will actually start enjoying trades with this strategy because it's uh, really profitable and I just don't know what to say more <laughs> I think uh, that was enough, yeah. So guys, uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.